What's going on today, guys? So today we have all three intakes um, that are possible replacements for our two-valve Mustang uh, intake. So I want to kind of quickly go through the options because I know, like, I did a lot of research for this. Um, however, I have not found somebody that's conclusively, besides LMR, who compared the dormant style intake to the FRP, uh, Ford Racing Performance Product, FRPP, uh, into, uh, intake. So I want to kind of just do a very quick visual representation of all three. So looking from, uh, it would be uh, your left to right, okay? Uh, over here we have the Dorman product. So this one is uh, 615175. Um, this is the really basic one um, that is in a lot of different parts stores. Um, it's probably gonna be the one that is the most available to most of you guys. Uh, very importantly though, if you can see the runner design is totally different than say this one or this one, and I'll get to what these are in a second. And this one robs you the most horsepower. Um, it is nice because there is a, a pre-drilled port if you're running like uh, on a Mustang, like a first gen Mustang, like we have uh, where it's 96 to 98 and there's two different coolant temp sensors. Um, it is already pre-drilled, which is a nice factor. Um, that would also apply to some earlier uh, Panther platforms, such as Grand Marquis, uh, uh, Town Car, and Crown Vic as well. So um, there is some appealing stuff to this, mainly that these intakes can be had for between 100 and 150 bucks. Um, however, I think I'm gonna show you why it doesn't make a lot of sense. So the center one that we have right here, okay, is the Crown Vic Grand Marquis uh, town, town Car Power Improved Intake Manifold. So as you see, if you compare the two, these are somewhat similar, but these are much more closer in design architecture. As you can see, the cross ribbing is all 100% uh, the same or very similar. Um, the biggest difference that I've noticed, obviously the height is very close, but the, on, the, uh, on this one, which is the FRPP one, there is a center cutout right here, and there is not on the Crown Vic one. So um, this one specifically is one from DNA Motoring. I was able to get off of Amazon. I want to say it was 140 bucks or so at the time of uh, at the time of this recording. Um, with that being said, I have seen other options pop up on eBay, putting this intake right at around 100 bucks shipped, um, maybe 110 shipped. So um, if I were to look at all three of them, this one is definitely a great middle ground. For guys that don't want to shell out the money for the FRPP stuff, um, as well as people that don't want the junk dormant intake. So unfortunately, I wish I had a dyno that I could tell you, oh, here's the exact uh, power differences between all three. However, LMR has a great video showcasing the power differences between these two specifically. Um, however, I've not seen one specifically on the Crown Vic, Grand Marquis, Town Car. Uh, you can look this up with a 2001 or a newer, or um, I would highly recommend look up say like a 2004 or 2005 Grand Marquis. It'll guarantee that it's the power improved intake. Uh, the other one, the, the non-power improved or MPI will be much shorter. It'll be much more uh, closer to the height overall of the Dorman style intake. And then finally, we have the Ford Racing Performance Product Intake. I apologize, this one's a little dirty. This one is actually pulled out of a car um, and it is still looking good and functional. And this is probably what we're gonna end up running in our uh, 97 Mustang project. But with that being said, you can see the clear advantages between even say the Dorman and the FRPP. Okay, so for example, let me take this one out of the picture and showcase just these two alone. So as you can see, not only are the runner lengths just wildly different, I mean, these ones just go immediately down, go into a barrel, have virtually no runner whatsoever. These ones actually cross all the way across, come down and swoop around. So if you were to look at height wise, what the difference is, okay, since this is a flat portion, we are sitting at about four inches to the port. So the ports are gonna be on the bottom side right here. Comparatively to the Ford Racing Performance being at six inches. So that is a huge, I mean, that's 50% more volume uh, in length and runner. Okay, so very obvious what it is here. Um, we'll see, we'll try to avoid copyright strike, but we'll flash the power numbers 
um, on the dyno. Again, your results may vary. Um, again, really the only the only nice things about this Dorman one, it's already pre-tapped if you guys have to run the two uh, coolant temp sensors. It's already pre-tapped right there on the intake. Um, additionally, uh, you do get uh, some availability. So I'm gonna slide this back over here. There is only one bracket included with this as well as um, some spacers, some screws. These ones use kind of the more chintzy design. So like if you're a later model with coil packs, um, it is like a, a self-threading screw as opposed to like a brass insert. The only brass inserts that they have on the doorman one are actually directly around the throttle body. So I'm gonna slide this one back over so we can bring back up the Crown Vic performance parts intake. Okay, so again, if we were to compare this, these ones were, actually let's see, get that level, four inches. Now this one is five inches, okay, and this one is six inches, okay, maybe a touch under six, but, but pretty close, okay. So again, this is a DNA motoring, not to get confused with the Dorman part number, because the DNA one does utilize this design. It is part number 615178, okay? Um, that's very specific. If you look up 615178, it'll pop up with Dorman, but you'll get this design again. So you have to be very careful to avoid that. So I feel like this one uh, offers the best middle ground. More importantly, this one, in my opinion, is going to have the best price to performance by far. So why I keep bringing that up? The Ford Racing Performance products, if you can't find a used one, if you don't want to run a used one, you want to run a new one, these intakes are 335 bucks, okay? The difference between these two intakes from the video, and I'll, I'll try to flash down there, the difference between these two was only about 25 horsepower, which don't get me wrong, in an intake is a lot. You can pay a lot of money for that amount of power, but again, if this one's 100, this one's 300, I know that there's some more price conscientious buyers out there, Plus, this uh, platform is getting older. So again, why, why do you want to spend a whole lot of money on there? So what I think is going to be a good, healthy middle ground for a lot of people is going to be running this 01 plus Crown Vic Grand Marquis Town Car Power Improved Intake Manifold. Um, it is also, which is very convenient, pre-drilled for, again, the 96 to 98 or Panther guys that have to run the two different sensors, one for the gauge, one for the computer, as opposed to the later Power Improved where it's all ran off of just the computer and then the computer, uh, or I'm sorry, the gauge cluster references the computer. So um, I feel like this is gonna be a really good middle ground as far as uh, overall dimensions. Again, all of these are all mod motor stuff. This does have the bosses directly for the coil packs. Uh, should you require them where they're the seven millimeter bolt on either side. Those ones are the only, I apologize, those, yeah, those ones are the only ones that are still a self-tapping screw. Um, the nice thing about the DNA motoring one though, is your EGR stuff, your throttle cables, all of those brackets are all brass inserts, just like the Ford Racing Performance Products one. So, and then lastly, we have the Ford Racing Performance Products one. Um, there is documentation, there is literature out there. This is the best intake. There is no comparison. There's not really uh, anything else that can be better. This is the king daddy for what you are running. So um, this, if you can get your hands on one of these, you're gonna be running the best intake possible. Um, there was a, a Ford Racing Bullet as well as a Typhoon. However, those ones do have their own set of problems. So my unit came off of a junkyard car. Um, the, this is an aluminum crossover, you hear that. It is aluminum, it's not plastic. It was just somebody painted it black. I actually kind of like the look of it, so we're probably gonna keep it. I'm probably going to uh, dip this one in our hot tank get it nice and clean, let it fully dry out, uh, just to get a lot of the gross residue off of the top of it. But this is probably the intake that I'm still gonna opt to run. I do have another one of these on order from eBay to see if I can get a good listing for everybody um, to uh, for the $100 intakes, because at 100 bucks, these are much easier to track down than these. Uh, funny enough, this one, the 615175, um, I ordered off of eBay that had this picture on it and it was 200 bucks and I said if if I can get that one for 200 bucks it'll be a deal there was no such thing it was not available at that what showed up was this one so you have to be careful out there I'll probably throw in a couple pics real quick so you can see the differences um, in the eBay listings of what you're ordering versus what you're getting it's uh it's very annoying for sure um, but it's something that you do need to keep in consideration 
Um, I will also love to give kudos to DNA Motoring, especially on this unit, um, because they have by far the best hardware kit. They have multiple different block plates. They have a thermostat. They have a thermostat gasket. Um, they have the little spacers that go in between here. Um, this is off of one of the car that I pulled it. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, this is a di different uh, neck that I pulled off of um, for a separate car. But with that being said, these all have, uh, this has both the brackets too. So this one is huge, actually. So if you're doing a PI swap, what you'll find out, okay, it should be something like this, is you need a secondary uh, bracket. Now LMR sells the brackets. I think that they were like 30 bucks from what I recall. If not, you can drill your own, but your MPI stuff is gonna be much similar to this design where there's a lot of overhang and things like that. So you can always drill your own. If not, that secondary one might work unless you're running just the, uh, the later 99-04 style alternator, in which case you can just use the brand new bracket and just move right along your happy way. So again, looking at the difference in plenum design, I mean, it, it's obvious. Here again is the Dorman. Here is the uh, performance improved intake from, I'm gonna try to wedge this up right here. The performance improved uh, Crown Vic intake. And then here is the FRPP Mustang designed intake again. Very large differences, but um, kind of if you take a blue box approach to it, okay, this is what's available. All right, it is largely available. I can't, I cannot lie there. This is the best offering, but this is the best value, and I think that that's pretty much all that we have to say. So I'll put links in the description for all of them. Uh, they all have all of the uh, pieces you need as far as um, the injector points. Um, as well as uh, the coil packs. Now, very specifically too, if you are one of the few people that insist on running a non-performance improved head, so this is gonna be pretty much anything pre-2000 except Mustang, then it will be pre-1999. There's a very important distinction that you need to make, and really it comes down to the intake gaskets. So if you take a look at these, these start to look much more like a heart right here, and unfortunately I don't have an MPI uh, and take off of my motor as of yet. But as you can kind of see, they're all this design um, for this one, and even the Dorman one should be able to accommodate both, okay? So, but however, if you see this one, I mean, these ones are just so tiny comparatively to, uh, to the PI stuff. I will also point out um, a nice thing about the uh, DNA motoring unit. If you notice, these both use O-rings, this one you will use a gasket. So you should be able to just simply buy the Dorman style O-ring kit for this one, and it should be able to take care of virtually everything that you would need on this intake. Again, to my knowledge, don't quote me on that. Um, I can't guarantee it, but I believe that that is the case. So now you kind of have a little bit more information of what's, about, what's available, what's out there. Again, if you're looking for just raw performance, um, MPI guys, you swapping to even say this uh, 01 style intake, getting the corrected intake gaskets, uh, I believe you have to use a little bit of RTV, um, you can pick up as much as 25 or 30 horsepower over that MPI intake without doing cams, without doing heads, just the intake alone. So as you can see, there's not a radical difference, especially even if I just compare them directly side to side. This one maybe sits a quarter of an inch lower. I would not take the performance bump for this one. This one right here, if we compare them, are almost identical, maybe a half inch. So again, this gives you guys all of the information that you should need to be able to make a good informed decision uh, of what to go with. So um, I may do a follow up video when I pull apart the intake uh, off of my MPI motor, um, which is a 97 Mustang GT. Um, very common upgrade for those who don't know what I'm talking about, they call it a PI. Uh, swap. It's not police interceptor, but uh, you can get the heads off police interceptors. It all has to do with the intake port design, how the flow, how they flow, and the camshafts. It's a great way to pick up 60 horsepower um, very easily. For, I should say relatively easily. Pull off the heads, put new heads on, new head gaskets, new head studs on there, put the new intake on, bada bing, bada boom. You pick up 60 to 80 horsepower just like that. I was getting junkyard heads uh, in the neighborhood of about 80 bucks. Uh, with cores each, 
Um, and the only thing you really should do on them is do the valve stem steels. They run $22. The tool runs about 20 bucks. So um, I'll have a video on that one separately, but this gives you guys everything that you guys need to know on intake manifold since you're not gonna really run the MPI intake. But if I'm able to get that off, I will do a direct comparison between the FRPP, if I still have one of these hanging out, um, the Crown Vic 01 Performance Improved Intake, but unfortunately the Dorman one is probably going to be sent back because it is not what I ordered. So thank you guys for joining me today. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you guys want to see more of this direct comparison. Um, I, me personally, I've had about 10 years, uh, coming up on 12 years in the parts industry, selling parts just as a parts counter guy, working my way up through management, working at a couple of manufacturers now. Um, I can tell, generally speaking, good parts from bad parts. I sold a bunch of these back in my parts counter days. I've had bad experience with them too, where I've actually sold cars because I can't get these to seal. So not saying that's a dormant issue, but with that being said, I've sold a bunch of these. Looking at this part, I was very, very impressed for the price. Again, I think I paid 140 bucks because it was on Amazon. You can usually get them a little bit cheaper on eBay. Um, very, very impressed with the quality of this unit. Very impressed with the speed of delivery. And again, the thoroughness of everything. They have both brackets. They have the, the uh, thermostat. They have everything. To be fair, these ones do also have the thermostat, but as far as I'm concerned, I don't like these, not, these just self-tapping screws. I like the threaded ones. So if you guys have any questions or comments or concerns, comment below. If not, thanks for joining us.